Hey everybody, David here, and today I am going to be talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, Episode 1, Day of the Dumpster. So, starting from the bat, this is the very first episode of Power Rangers ever. This was the one that really started it all, and if you really go and watch more recent seasons, or seasons that really followed Mighty Morphin, you'll see that when a lot of seasons really start how the rangers get their powers and all that because starting in lost galaxy which just aired in 1999 and onward every season would be its own self-contained series with an all-new cast all new villains you know all new story the only thing really connecting each season starting from power rangers lost galaxy would be the the crossovers that would happen between each seasons um, from the current season teaming up with the previous season. And whenever all of them began, they always kind of had the same formula that Day of the Dumpster would have. Sometimes there would even be, you know, uh, references to the very first episode. Uh, maybe a line here and there or something like that that would kind of echo back to the very first episode because that episode kind of did it right they introduced you to the characters nicely they introduced you to the concept of the season what it's all going to be about and how it's all going to be structured and then go on there obviously later seasons would put more of a story arc to it so they would have a little bit more to set up but mighty morphin laid out the groundwork for what the show is and still is to this day what I really think was great about the very first episode was how it introduced the Rangers. I think you, straight from the bat, you really get to know who these characters are. Right away, you know Jason is the big, strong guy. He's going to be the leader of the group, and you get that. Billy is the nerd and the very intelligent one. Zack is the cool guy. Kimberly is the very hot girl that, you know, all the guys fall in love with. And Trini is the the wise and elegant one. So you really get that right away because they're all stereotypical, you know, characters, you know. So, and then obviously a lot of people like to touch on the race issue, which really isn't much of an issue. Only people want to make it seem that way. According to Tony Oliver at, uh, I believe it was Power Morphicon, he stated that it was actually an accident and they didn't realize that uh, they were casting that way until, you know, the show started rolling and they realized at the last minute that, uh-oh, we might get in trouble for this. Um, so, whatever, you know, if it is or isn't, that's shouldn't be an issue here the point is people remember them as these rangers and it wasn't because of that it was because they were good characters to begin with and then we got the villains we get who the villains are right away you know rita repulsa is clearly the leader goldar is the henchman finster is the one that makes the the monsters and squad and babu are the comedy relief although seriously this show never takes itself too seriously anyway so i don't <laughs> the more comedy relief, the better, I guess, right? Speaking of comedy l reliefs, we are also introduced to Balkan Skull in the very first episode, as well as Zordon and Alpha, who are the Rangers' mentors, and they help them on their quest to fighting monsters. And the episode really establishes all of that really well. They they set out the basic principles of what this show is going to be. That they'll be fighting putties every week, that there will be a monster, that and the show will end with them, you know, calling on their zords and fighting the monster at a giant size. And I think it does a really good job. Um it's also worth noting that this episode is actually not really the first official... It, it's the first official episode, but there was actually a unaired pilot that actually aired during Power Rangers Lost Galaxy um, back in 1999. And they, they, they titled this episode The Lost Episode. 
I don't know if a lot of people will remember that, but I remember it very clearly because I wanted to watch it, but I actually missed out and I got to see it maybe sometime when YouTube was starting to uh, rise. I actually finally got to see the episode and it was really cool. I thought, you know, there was a lot of differences from that original pilot, uh, such as a few names and stuff like that. The biggest difference being Trini. Trini was actually played by a different actress. So it makes you wonder, you know, how, how would the show have been different if they had kept those changes? And uh, especially Trini, who is the big one. And I think uh, Tri Trang, I think I, I, I probably butchered that name. A lot of people have, so I'm not the only one. It would have been interesting to see how different the show would have been if the other one had stuck around and uh because you know one casting change always makes a difference in a tv show so but i'm glad things worked out the way they did i think the cast we got was the right cast and apparently there were two different casts that they were choosing from and uh you know the cast we got was the best one apparently a lot of fans saw that other test footage of the other cast and uh everybody's happy with the cast we got so yeah, guys, I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 10. I think it did a really good job at establishing the characters. We got to know who they are, what they do, and it was just a fun episode. So that's, that's pretty much it. Until next time, may the power protect you. I really got to stop saying these movie lines because I don't say them right. <laughs>